Einstein had a happiest thought. What is yours? <laughs> I mean, Einstein's happiest thought, actually, was one of the deepest insights into nature. Um, not that it wasn't known, right? It's kind of an interest in happy thoughts. It's a very simple idea, which in many ways Galileo knew ish right but hadn't hadn't really thought about it in the way that einstein did it, it's the it's partly the realization which galileo and newton knew that things fall at the same rate in a gravitational field so if you take away the air as i did actually famous on youtube you can have a look at something i shot with the bbc in the world's biggest vacuum chamber in ohio a nasa space power facility and we dropped a bowling ball and a feather with all the air taken out and you see they fall at the same rate that's how gravity works and um einstein's genius was to say well what does that imply in, in einstein's mind it implied that the things that are falling under the influence of gravity um are not really falling right you can you, you you're perfectly legitimately and correctly actually able to think of them as undergoing no acceleration and no force acting on them at all. So in free fall, no forces act. Uh, so that, that's, that's Einstein's happiest thought. Um, and if you think about the space station with, with, with astronauts floating around and an astronaut lets go of something and it stays where they let go of it, you, you know, what the Newtonian way is to say, well, everything's falling towards the Earth at the same rate. The Einstein way, put very simply, is to say nothing's falling at all. It is equivalent to that situation in the space station, because it's in free fall, is equivalent to the space station floating between the galaxies with no influence at all from anything. It's equivalent. It's, 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 it's not discernible. There are some tiny caveats, which is that the actually the the in the Earth's gravitational field, things are the, the the space is warped in such a way that things, if you want to talk about things falling, they're falling towards the center of the Earth. So there are what's called tidal effects there, which you you would be hard pressed to measure across a space station, but you could measure in principle. Um, but putting those aside. It is absolutely indistinguishable. The free fall is indistinguishable from rest, from being at rest, not moving or accelerating at all. And that was his happiest thought. And that led Einstein to the general theory of relativity, which is our best theory of space and time and our theory of black holes and the evolution of the universe and the framework within which we can talk about things like the origin of the universe although we need a bit more to talk about that. So it's a very happy thought and a very deep thought. Um, my happiest thoughts, I think when you do research in any science or any area, actually, then there's always a moment, however esoteric it is, that you know something that nobody else knows, because that's what research is. You find something out that's new and it's always uh, until you've done it, you don't realize how delightful that is. Um, it's, it's a wonderful, happy thing <laughs> to happen to you. I'm the only person in the world, possibly in the history of the universe, that's ever known this, <laughs> right? <laughs> we don't know. So um, uh, now, usually, for most working scientists, those things are so tiny and esoteric that, you know, you've seen some new data, and it's a little tiny thing. And it kind of matters hugely because of that feeling, but it's not, it doesn't matter in the scheme of things. You've just added a little bit to human knowledge. Um, Einstein <laughs> was fortunate to have had many happy thoughts that added a massive amount to human knowledge because he was a great genius working at a time when there were a lot of things um, to know, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, and, but the, I think the experience of, having a very simple thought like that, but which is absolutely profound, is not open to many of us. Um, and, and so that's, that's why Einstein was happy. What's your favorite cheese and why? Um, I have steadfastly refused 
to divulge my preferences in cheese over a 20 year career in the media. And I do not intend to begin now. So uh, yes, I, I'm gonna, I, I could turn into a politician about this. Yes, there may be cheese. There may have been cheese. Um, if there was cheese, no regulations were broken. Professor Brian Cox, Horizons, a 21st century space odyssey, live on stage, using state-of-the-art LED screen technology. Theatres and arenas will be filled with images of faraway galaxies, alien worlds, supermassive black holes, and a time before the Big Bang.